This video is made for a general audience. It is meant to be enjoyed by both kids and adults. Anyway, enjoy the fucking video. Uh, hello? Is anybody here? Hello? Mm, it's good to see you. I suppose you know your task. Y yes, uh, I, I, I do. Uh, yeah. Good. You don't want to end up like the steam engines, do you? The old, outdated. This is a simple task. Yeah, I, I, I know. I, I'll do it. Ouch! Ah! Uh, on the one day I get to pull passengers too and I break down! Oh, this is just my luck. Sorry, Percy, but we're not going to go any further today, it looks like. Hello there, Percy, old chap. How's it going? It doesn't look good. No, it doesn't, Harold. I've broken down. Oh, on the one day I get to pull passengers too. Don't worry, Percy. I'll go and get help right away. Stay right there, Percy. That's the only thing I can do. Hello there, Percy. You look like you're in the quite the predicament. Yes, I am. I've broken down. I need to get to the works right away. Don't you worry, Percy. I'll take you to the works. What? No, Duck. You are not. Edward, what are you doing here? I'm here to rescue Percy. Duck, I am fully aware. You have your own branch line to run. I can take care of Percy. Edward, you also have a branch line. I can take Percy's passengers. Okay. I can take Percy to works. Sounds good to me. Come on then, let's get going. Well then, Percy. It looks like you're going to have to go to the works for a while. I know, and that's what upsets me, Edward. I want to be really useful. Well, to be really useful, we also have to be fully operational. Alright then, Donald, I've got some oil tankers I have to take to the docks. I'll see you later. Uh, be wary of Spencer on his visit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, well. Right then, this looks like our train. I guess we're ready to go. Aye, we just need a brake van. Ugh. Come on, come on, you silly trucks.
make way for an important engine. Spencer. Just leave your trucks in the siding there, Douglas. All right then. Don't worry, this will be a quick one. There's just one problem. It seems I'm sticking out a bit because th this train's too long. It doesn't fit in the whole siding with me. Hmm, that is a big problem. Someone could crash into you. I'll go telephone the nearest signal box and alert all trains. I do that. Excuse me, sir. We need you to telephone the fat controller right away. I shall do that. Don't worry. I'm sure I got nothing better to do. Ah, why isn't he answering? It says he's busy messaging someone else. Ah, it looks like I, I can't warn the trains. Oh, we'll just have to hope no one gets here. I ah, I don't think that's a high enough possibility that no one will have to go through this line. Oh, oh, oh no! Bricks! Bricks! Now then, Douglas, I know this wasn't your fault. You could have done nothing to prevent it. Ah, no, sir. But still, now I'd have to go to the works. Who's going to do my jobs while I'm at the works? Hmm. I don't know, Douglas. I guess we'll just have to try and find some replacements. Anyway, I'll see you later at the works. Good evening, sir. Evening, Thomas. I got some news for you. Seeing as Percy's under repair, we're going to have to get a replacement. And uh, I'm afraid that you're not going to be happy with um, <clears throat> who it is. Well, who is it, sir? You! Of all the engines, he chose you! You shouldn't be surprised about this. I was the only good option. Only good option. Where did the fat controller search for the scrapyard? No, he searched on the mainland, where all diesels are. Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't want to be rude, sir. But uh, what exactly are we doing at the yards? Well, seeing as Douglas is under repair, um, 
he's going to have to have a replacement. Ah, here he is. Six, one, two, four, I guess. Hello, how's it going? Oh, great. Not a diesel. Sir, you're not going to have this diesel replace Doggy. He doesn't have a choice. I used to pull the Express on the mainland. Not to brag, but I was quite fast back then. This is unbelievable. Hello there, fish boy. How's it going? Did I ever give you permission to use that name? No, but to be honest, I don't really care. Fair point. Anyway, take these trucks away. No problem then, fish boy. Hey! Hello there, Donald. How's it going? Not good. Why? W what happened? The replacement for Dougie is a diesel. Well, there aren't too many steam engines anymore. But this one is way too arrogant. There are nice diesels out there, like Boko. There are also mean ones like old Spam Kang. True. I'm sure this one is going to be nice. You haven't met him like I did. At least, I hope he's going to be nice. Hi there, Thomas. Ready for another race today? Vroom, vroom, vroom. Not today, Bertie. I'm too busy working hard, like some engines should. What are you doing here? I'm doing my work, taking trucks to and from the quarry. Oh no, you don't. I'm not letting you replace Percy. You do not have a choice. I was sent here to do my work. Well, too bad. Your work is to stay away from here right now. Jeez, I've never seen Thomas so angry before. That diesel, he thinks he can just come in there and replace Percy. Well, if I manage to do both my jobs and Percy's jobs... Wow, Thomas, you're in good spirits. Did something change? 
yes, I just got a bright idea. If I do both my jobs and Percy's jobs, there won't be any need for that smelly diesel. Hello there, my name is Oliver. What's your name? Huh? So you're the steam under the escaped scrap? In my opinion, you should have been scrapped. You do not deserve to live. You're a smelly steamer. To be honest, I think all these engines on this island should be scrapped and thrown out. Whoa, that's not very nice. You can't just say that. Well, I just did, and soon that's going to happen with all your smelly, steamy friends. Well, f that guy, I guess. Hey boss, we got some news from Sodor that you might want to hear. Go on. What is it? Well, it seems everything so far has been going according to plan. Good. Soon that rotten island will be demolished of those stinky steam engines. Once and for all. If I had ears, I'd probably cover them. What do you think you are doing? You said I couldn't replace Percy, therefore I'm replacing you. That is not what I meant. You aren't replacing anyone, period. Too bad. I got a job to do, and that is revolutionizing this tiny branch line. Whoa, Thomas works just great, you know? Doesn't matter. He's old. I'm more reliable. Oh, I'm more reliable here. Yeah. Aye, who's back there? I think I recognize that voice.
Well, well, well. If it isn't old spiteful Breakdown himself. I'm kinda surprised to see you again. Yeah, I'm kinda surprised to see you too. I, f I thought Doggy smashed you up. He did. Luckily, the workman managed to repair me. Why would they repair a useless junk of... I wait a minute. What? I could use your help to pay about that a smelly diesel. If you just listen to my plan, then uh, you might figure something out. Go on. I have all ears. We better discuss this another time. But remember... Stupid Diesel, thinking that he can just come in there and replace me. Whoops, sorry. It's alright. It's not the first time I've been bumped these last weeks. Hmm, that sounds like a you problem. Anyway, we have to get this train moving. Yeah, you're right. Now then, Thomas, with Diesel taking the passengers, I need you to work the coal mine. Ah, yes, sir. Of course, sir. How have the coal runs been treating you, Thomas? Terrible. What did you expect, you oily diesel? <laughs> I didn't expect much. Just that this sort of work is more for you than me. My job is to put Annie and Clarabel, not his. Oh, I know how Diesel's like. I remember back when he first arrived, playing all his tricks. Yeah, and he hasn't gotten any better. He's always causing trouble. It almost makes me think why the Fat Controller chooses to bring him back specifically. Maybe there's something on the mainland going on, and Diesel's the only one available. Thomas, Tom 
must these must come up the line. You have to go and get the, get the breakdown train. What? Really? Huh. Oh I knew we'd get his comeback eventually. Oh, somebody have a glass of well, well, well. I can't wait to see how this happened. You show him, Thomas. Don't worry, Duck, I will. Well, well, well. You saying you were so reliable and all, I didn't expect this sort of behavior from you. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I wanted to have a look before I got the breakdown train and helped you, and now I have. <laughs> well, this isn't the first time I've had to rescue you, and I really hope it's not going to be the last. You keep causing all sorts of accidents every time you get on this island. <sighs> Won't you just shut up? Well, come on, Dan. It's about time I deliver my passengers. What in the f why are we stopped? I, I'm, I'm supposed to be early. Oh, um, I, I guess my, my brakes slipped on. What? How does someone brakes slip on? Oh, now I'm going to be late. Oh, this island's not treating me well at all. Huh, <laughs> that diesel's so unreliable. Aye, sir, and he's not much better in the attitude department either. Really? What do you mean by that, Donald? Aye, he's been acting very rudely, saying that we're useless punks of steam. And bragging a lot. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I'm late, that silly break van, sir. No, no, now you be quiet. You have been acting very rudely to my engines, and this sort of behaviour is not something I want. I'm sending you back to the mainland immediately. Well, that was way easier than expected, but okay. Aye, Thomas, is my terrain ready yet? Oh yes, it is. It's all ready to go. Aye, how have things been on the branch line? I have to say the little western's been quiet. Oh, it's been very quiet on the branch line as well. You know, just diesel. Ah, I heard what happened to it from Duck. Anyway, I better get going. Bye, Donald. Bye, Thomas. Well, I better go and find Anna and Clarabel. It's nearly time for my train to go. I'm back. The works is quite lonely. Has anybody missed me? Percy, it's great to see you again. How have you been at the works? Like I said, it's been pretty lonely. Anyway, how have the replacements been?
Oh, it's you. The boss is quite angry at you. Yeah. I wouldn't want to meet him right now if I were you.